So we're in the dairy section. And it's cold. And it is cold, you know, which is a good sign. That means that hopefully everything's staying fresh. Uh, but let's get to like the you know the main dairy. These are all the weird artisan fancy schmancy crap. Uh, goat cheese is awesome. Some people love it. Some people don't. I'm just gonna get a little bit. This stuff's just really great. It's creamy. You can make little spreads out of it. Toss that bastard in there. Now, this is probably what looks more familiar to the, the typical grocery store right here. You've got all of your packaged cheeses. And packaged cheese is great because it has, you know, if you want to shred it, if you want to slice, it's done. But if you don't care about that, I would always recommend buying the block. Because this you can do, you can shred this. It's going to be cheaper to shred it yourself. It's going to last longer. Yeah, it's going to last longer. And think about, you know, when you're thinking about the grocery store, anytime something is done for you, it's going to cost more money. Buying a whole chicken is going to be cheaper than buying a chicken broken down. Same chicken, no difference except that somebody did something to it. When you learn how to do that kind of stuff, you can save money just like this. If you were to take this and shred it yourself, you're gonna, it's gonna be cheaper than it is to buy it and already shred it. When you're looking in the dairy section, you always wanna make sure that you're getting just whole cheese. If you're getting this low fat, part skim, part, it just means it's having part taste. And I know it seems like, oh, uh, you see something, oh, that's low fat, I'm gonna eat that, I'm gonna get less fat. That is not the case. All it is is a marketing scheme they're putting in God knows what to make it taste just as good, and it never even tastes that good. That's one thing I always learned. I'd much rather eat less of something that's full fat than eat more of some crappy fake version of it. So the yogurt and the sour cream section are great sections. I always get some sour cream. You know, it lasts a good amount of time. It's great for making sauces and making stuff creamy. Most of the bases of sauces we have are like mayo or yogurt or sour cream base creamy ones. Again, look for the regular, all-natural, whole sour cream. Yeah, if you see this light, it's the thing, it's low fat, it's light. I don't know why people think that, like, light yolk. See? Fewer calories, but that's the only thing that's, it's got fewer taste. <laughs> whole milk is really good. Some people are like, oh, how could you drink whole milk? I'm like, how could you drink skim milk? It tastes like you know, a cow took a piss and that's what you drank. <laughs> half and half is good, but heavy cream, this stuff, you'd be amazed how many things you can make with heavy cream. Lots of different desserts. You can make pasta sauces creamier. You can literally take, buy tomato sauce, add this to it, and that's all you have to do and you will have a glorious sauce. Okay, butter is another thing that's great to have. Um, I actually don't cook with that much butter, but if you're gonna get butter, just get the regular unsalted butter. That way, as they say on every cooking show in the world, you can add your own salt to it. So the final section in this little uh, market extravaganza is, of course, the meat. I was just saying before, you can, you know, maybe in a couple years we'll show you how to butcher a chicken and break it down, which is actually not that hard. You know, watch a couple YouTube videos, you'll figure it out, and you'll be like, oh my god, I just butchered a chicken. Mike and I have come to love chicken thigh. Chicken breast is great if you cook it properly. But chicken thigh as a start is one of the easiest things to cook because it has a lot of room to screw up. It's fattier, it's got more flavor. You can cook it longer without overcooking it. Um, so we'll probably get a little bit of chicken thigh. If you can find the boneless skinless, that's nice too. But it makes I'm, your life a lot easier. The cool thing about the chicken thigh is that it's cheaper than the chicken breast and it tastes better. So of course you've got you've got your bacon, which you know you can't can't leave home without bacon. But check out this bacon. There's something special about it. Thick cut. Now, whenever I buy bacon, I always go with the thick cut. It cooks a lot better, it's more delicious. You don't end up with these little shriveled up pieces of like fried stuff, and it's glorious. But there are two things that are great to get in this section. One, sausage. Sausage is cheap. It already has flavor in it, so you don't have to worry about flavoring it. And you fry those things up, they're easy to cook. So you can get Italian sweet, you can get Italian hot. Let's get some Italian hot. And then of course, ground beef, meatballs, burgers, anything, chili, whatever you want. Ground beef is great. There are a lot of different meats expensive meats, but if you cook ground beef right, it's incredible. One of the most glorious sections in the supermarket is the fresh bread. It's cheap. I mean, 
three rolls for a dollar. You're spending a dollar, you're getting three rolls. That's three meals right there. And then you add some stuff. You can imagine just buying three rolls for a dollar, buying you know a little bit of cheese and some meat and some lettuce, and you have a delicious sandwich. What should we get, Mike? Maybe these? Yeah, the sesame seeds look sesame good. Sesame seeds. 69 cents each. Look at that. We can yeah. make an entire. We can make a sausage sandwich. They also well, they also have the baguettes, which are good. Get a long roll. 